What is going on guys? I'm bringing you a WWE 2K22 discussion video. Now, the WWE 2K YouTube channel has not released a video since August 21st and it's only a 31 second video. It's it's just barely anything at all. It's basically just you know, a couple of you know, small parts of an entrance and a couple of moves. And I'm showing you right here my my creative wrestlers that I put on the online community that you can upload right now. You know, I have a Cain Velasquez. Now, you know, my username is KNeo32. If you want to, you can see it right there on the right hand side where it says creator. That is my username. If you want to look up some some of my stuff, you know, and and like maybe download some of this stuff. I have a Wolverine character. My Khabib Negromaga Madoff is my highest, you know, downloaded character in this. Now, this ghost I created, it was before they fixed the glitch. There was a glitch in the game where you could see through that the woman's body. Um, as long as she had a certain attire on, you could see all the way through her flesh. So I created a ghost out of her, but... They fixed that glitch now, so it's not as good. You know, and I have a Hulk Hogan. Now, this Hulk Hogan here is not the same Hulk Hogan that's in the game. It's not an edited version. It's just a new version that I created myself because I wanted his body to be more like an old version of Hulk Hogan. That's why I created him. But anyway, you know, we're going to discuss. This is a Superman I created. Pretty neat, right? We're discussing WWE 2K20 and the fact that WWE 2K has not given us much information. They said they're going to drop a lot of information in January, which is a long time from now. Uh, the game comes out in March. I don't know why they're waiting that long. I don't know what the point is. I, I don't know if they're afraid of being, of, of you know, somebody hearing something they don't want to hear and ranting over it or something like they do on some of these games. But anyway... What match types do we need? Okay, well, let's go to match type. Now this, I feel like they came through um, in this, in this, when it comes to customizing matches. I feel like they came through, as you can see, I could do a fatal four way, you know, ladder match, you know, or I can do, if I want to, I can do a fatal four way submission only illumination match you see how that works you know or submission ko four-way match in a steel cage i could do that if i want to you know make it like a almost like mma moves where you can only submit or be ko that kind of thing you could do all that in this so they really came through with that giving you the options to like create your own thing here I thought they did an excellent job. Now, the match type that I want, you know, people are talking about casket and braid live matches. I don't care about that. I want the Inferno match. That is the match I want. I don't think they're putting it in the game because they're trying to keep things clean. And I don't see anything wrong with putting fire. They put they put fire in this game, okay? They put it in a I'll show you. And that that is the reason why. I do believe that they may actually put the Inferno match in this game. That is the match that I'm looking forward to the most is the Inferno match. And I'm just going to just get into something real quick here. It's no big deal. I like using my creative wrestlers. I don't really like using WWE guys. Who cares who I use, right? Let's, let me show you this right here. You know, it had, there's fire in the match in the game so it's like they weren't afraid to get a little bit dark when they made this game and that i liked um, i got a couple more things i want to get into but the only reason why i'm going to this is because i'm talking about the inferno match that is if there's one match that i really really want really bad in wwe 2k22 it's the inferno match now this we're ready to go folks time to get this one started as you can see the only thing that would make they have a fight they already have fire in this game calling it without so bozos interrupting me you know that is like an indicator to me that 
maybe perhaps they are going to put it in the game. I really, really hope so. I, I personally don't care about casket or buried alive matches. I mean, I can. I mean, if it's in the game, that's definitely a plus. But I'm not, you know, worried about it or anything. I'm trying to throw him in that fire, but anyway, that's what I want. I want the inferno match. That's what I want the most. As you can see, he won't even throw him toward the fire, but. Let's back out of that. Now, I do want special guest referee in the next one. Again, I don't care. I don't have to have it. I don't want to control a referee, really. But I want to control a guest referee. But when you have a guest referee, the AI needs to be fixed so that, for example, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, I got to go into detail here. Okay, so basically what I'm trying to tell you is if I, let's say I have a created team, right? Or, or let's say, you know, you have these teams here, right? Okay, so if I'm wrestling as one of those guys and the other guy is the guest referee, he needs to, you know, cheat in my behalf. I want the AI to be like that. Don't just be like, uh, just have a, a wrestler and a, and a referee t-shirt and just count. You know, I... I don't really care for that. You know, the only difference is if you hit him, he fights back. That's it. I think one of the older games was like that. But if it's like just a just a wrestler and a referee t-shirt, and that's the only difference from an AI standpoint, I don't need anything like that. They need it to be, like, controversial. That's the whole point in the guest referee match. Now, let's talk about... Uh, Manager now I need better management in this game like when I say management I'm talking about the ring side the ring side this is dry They basically just clap their hands and talk that's it if you don't they don't really do much it, It's it's nothing you know like WW 2k 18 19 they would get involved more in this one It's they don't really do much. Okay, they need to you know Fix that a little bit and also we need to be able to control our manager switch between manager and wrestler too while they're ringside. I'd love to see that feature. That would be incredible. I've been waiting for that for a long time. For whatever reason, nobody's thought of it and nobody's put it in the game. I would love to see that. I don't care about GM. I heard that it was going to be in it, but I'm not too concerned about it. I don't play GM. I just create wrestlers and have matches, right? That's all I do. I don't need that. You know, create a title. All that stuff in this is good. The create a wrestler is good. I want to see the Crater Rustler expand it. You know, let's get into it. Let's talk about it. Basically, give me the same stuff you give me here. In fact, I want to see it look just like this, but just be more enhanced. Like, obviously, it's going to be on next gen, so you, you, it's going to look better, of course. Give me more templates and more hairstyles. You know, maybe add to what we get. Take these same templates, put them in a the game add eight or ten more you know because there's 16 here you know give me more this is good these are very good i love them you know the you know realistic looking faces a lot of these faces are based on i think that might be based on d -Lo brown or something i really don't know but a lot of them are based on somebody if you pay attention you can figure it out but give me some expansion on that you know, give me some expansion on hair options. The hair options are very good in this. They came through. But just continue to add, you know, to what we have here. Now, even if they change the Crater Rustler, I'm pretty sure it's going to at least be similar to this. Because there was not really too many problems with the Crater Rustler. The Crater Rustler was on point. I mean, they, they, they gave us some incredibly good options here on Crater Rustler. And especially in, you know, in 2K... Look at this. I mean, you got all these wild, crazy options here. They did, they really did their thing on that. I'm not complaining about that. Just let me expand. That's all I'm asking for. Take that same thing and add to it. I really hope that's the case. Okay, so I talked about match types. The only match type I really need, I've already told you, is the Inferno match. That's what I want. You know, the... Custom matches look good in, in WWE 2K20. Keep giving me that. Give me that same stuff. 
you know, and the credit entrances are good and this, all that stuff is good. I don't have any complaints about that. I do want to see better AI, better interference AI, you know, and I want to see, I cannot win matches in this game without using a signature or finisher. I can hit you with a steel chair 30 times and they're going to kick out every time. Without that finisher or signature, I'm not winning matches. They need to fix that. That is not good. Now, the game itself, the the PC, you know, CPU versus CPU, they can win matches in other ways. And another thing, I cannot escape submission if it's finisher or signature. Absolutely not. If, if my opponent has a submission move as a finisher or signature, that is a pretty much guaranteed tap. I think you could probably use resiliency once, maybe, but you're tapping out. I mean, there's there's no there's no way around it. You are tapping out, and I think they should make it hard for you to tap out, but not make it impossible. I don't like that. I think that's terrible. I don't like the submission system. Please tell me you are changing the submission system in this game. Please tell me that. And I'm I would bet I'm like ninety percent sure that they are, because they said they were changing. Probably everything in the gameplay, most things, if not everything. Now, after getting WWE 2K20, I believe WWE 2K22 is going to be an excellent game because they've had two years, they've had all this stuff. I think it's going to be glitchy and buggy on next gen because they're making that transition. And I think you're going to need patches and stuff. A couple. I don't think it'll be bad, though. I think it's going to release. It's going to have a really good release and be a very good game. That's what I predict. You know, hopefully they could just expand. I wonder what they're going to add to the game. As this here added all this crazy WWE 2K original stuff, which to me made the game better. I love it. I love those crazy, you know, I, I'm the type of guy that that likes all these crazy venues, you know what I mean? Like that's if I'm not using a created venue, like something I created, then I'm using one of these over the top, you know, venues. Something like this right here. I'm gonna take a quick look at it, you know, just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Hopefully they throw some things like that in there. Also. Maybe put some something like this and create an arena. You know, if I could create an arena and have some of these crazy options, man. Like, like give me some of this stuff on create an arena. Like, some of the options that I see here. This outdoor crazy stuff. You know, I don't have to have that. But, you know, maybe give me the option to create, you know, see how that ground is. You know, because I love wrestling at places like this i know that's not for everybody some people don't care about that stuff and i understand you know not everybody's into that over the top craziness but i like having these crazy options you know it just gives you the uh, opportunity to expand your idea so i hope they don't go away from the idea of being a little crazy with some of the stuff they add to the game like some of the extra features please keep bringing me that stuff don't back out of that you know, it can't hurt the game to add it. If you don't like it, just don't no use that mode. Don't force me to use it, of course. So, yeah, there's that. That's what I want to see. I want to see stuff like that and create an arena. Like, options where you can just create these outdoor crazy stuff, you know. But, anyway, that's going to be this video. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm hoping for. Again, I don't believe they're going to give you the option to control your manager switch from manager to wrestler like you do in tag matches but i really want to see that and i do think the infernal match may be coming back they put fire in this game why wouldn't they but anyway that's this video give me your opinions on what you think wwe 2k22 will have since they are it seems like they're just lacking on giving us enough information about what's going to be in this game